Hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final of SFL, probably my last game ever of Blood Bowl 2 because I imagine Nick will beat me. He has a very good pro team, loads and loads and loads of bludge, like how many bludges? Eight bludge slash rodge. Unbelievable. Uh, only one tackle I guess, but still just loads of, four, four with sidestep as a guard, uh, it's a ridiculously good team. Um, I do not have block on my carriers, my carry is very exposed. Got two tacklers um, and two mighty blow. It's going to be very, very tricky. I bought an extra reroll, and uh, we'll get a bay. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be super tough game. Super, super tough game. Obviously, Nick's very good at the blood balls. But you know, I thought I'd lose to Tom, and uh, won that game. Played fantastically well against Tom. <laughs> So hopefully can play just as well against Nick and uh, win somehow. There you go. That's the uh, that's the plan. Play perfectly and have a bit of luck. <laughs> Both of which are pretty difficult to be fair. Also, I made a cup of tea before this and I put in too much milk and I'm disappointed by it. There's way too much milk in my tea. It's disconcerting how much milk there is in this tea. I must have must have shaken uncontrollably. <laughs> Alright, he's kicking. Give himself the chance of the one turn. Also stopping my one turn, right? I've got a pretty good one turn here with sidestep. Move nine. Uh, pretty nice one turn I've got. So he wants more chance to Get rid of my one turn. I obviously know where he's standing on his offense for his uh put it a dacker or whatever. So I th figured he would always kick if given the choice. I would do the same. I should probably make these three Ds on the LOS. Tricky, isn't it? This is very tricky. I want to make them three Ds. But I guess mostly I should just play safe. Let's go straight forward. Mm. Three D there. Why not? Exposing the tackle it seems a bit stupid, right? Especially if I don't power him. But then also he's kind of central to be able to react to things. He can always blitz one of the LOS if he has to. Maybe he could be one further across. No, I think quite, quite, quite think it's okay. This is okay. Sad to have dropped the diamond tackle one. That was actually really useful versus Tom having that diamond tackle there. <laughs> Feed me. Has. <laughs> okay, so we can blitz from here.
<laughs> yeah, Kelsey will get a permanent ban if we collude. Not obviously, we're not colluding. That was always going to happen, wasn't it? That was always going to happen, but it's not at the end of the world. <laughs> no shilly voice. Yes. He might just go straight for the ball here with him being on there. Who knows? So maybe I should have waited, then he could have GFI to here. That might, that might have been an idea. Wait, wait to move this guy, and then he could have gone. Was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe he could have GFI to there. But I mean, this is still difficult, right? He can't get an assist to hit here. I mean, I guess it gives him an assist to blitz this guy and then block this guy, maybe. Then he just blitzes him and then blocks him. But I mean, I can just two plus away anyway, so it's not like the end of the world. Milf, milf, milf. Hello, Art Max. Man, why this this tea is so milky? It's horrible. Ugh, gross, a fucking gross cup of tea I have. I failed at making the cup of tea before the game. Oh yuck, I might, I might even throw it away honestly and make a new one. Oh, he's just doing the 1D, wow, what a scumbag. What a scumbag. Full pow. Instant comedy mega. Look a dog. I mean, that is pretty fucking disgustingly lucky to be fair. I 2D don't pow him. And then he 1D pals me back. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. And I know I kind of like, you know, gave him the chance to do that. Oh, I don't, I never put sugar in, but I just put in too much milk. I'm really considering throwing it away and making another one. Because, <laughs> like, it's just not nice, there's too much milk. Ugh, gotta see what happens here first, I guess. Yeah, maybe I should have, yeah. It was just too easy for him, wasn't it? Oh, God. Fucking Nick. Lucky bastard. I guess what I should have done was just cage up one behind, and then he couldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Like the four plus in is too easy, isn't it? The five plus, well, no, it was a five plus in because I had two round the back. It was still, it was still quite a hard in, but it could have been a six in, couldn't it? I was just stupid of me. I just don't know why I did that. Put off, put off by the. Uh, by the T, honestly. I mean, Nick has been really incredibly lucky, to be fair. To be fair, Nick has been really incredibly lucky, but I shouldn't have given him the chance, should I? I should have just, been, I should have just gone one square behind. I literally thought if I, if I blitz from there, I'm safe, and for somehow just didn't realise he could sidestep to there. Like, genuinely just thought, I'll just blitz from here and it'll be all right. That was the kind of insane thing about it. Oh my god. That's all I can do, isn't it? No, 
Nah, I've lost. I've lost already, Flicky. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Flicky, but I've lost already. I've literally already lost. I'm going to throw away this horrible milky tea. So it's already done. Like it's all it's literally already over just because I've fucking made a stupid mistake. And it just was a full mistake. Oh, I should probably be there, shouldn't he? We can fix this. I need to throw this away and make another cup of tea. It's a hundred percent or it's literally a hundred percent over on turn one. Just fucking stupid man. Gave him a five plus in, obviously he's gonna make it like idiotic. And let him deal with a guard. Like, you know, obviously he was super like he was insanely lucky, right? The one D pow and the five plus in. Like he was insanely lucky, but there was just no need to give him it, so it is my fault, even though he's a lucky fucking C nut. Well, I beat him last time, Sata, but I didn't make a stupid mistake last time. It was just dumb of me. I let, for some reason, I just thought that he couldn't sidestep to where he sidestepped to. Like, I wouldn't have done what I did if I thought he could have done it, right? Because it was too easy. It was too easy. And he was always going to do it. It was like only one move to make. Just fucking annoying. Oh, fuck off. At least it's quick anyway. 
good luck to uh, Nick in the final. <laughs> Can win another title for Skuro. Uh, it was a fun game, wasn't it? Loads of back and forth. Um, elves are fair and balanced. And, uh, yep. Great game, really. Very fun and interactive game of Blood Bowl. Thrilling. What a thrilling game. What a thrilling game Blood Bowl is, isn't it? Really, honestly. If a game can't be decided on the first turn, then I don't want to play it. And now I've got to sit here for another, like, you know, an hour or so. Rolling dice like a fucking dickhead. Uh, no, I just made a mistake, foul boy, and then Nick got very lucky. <laughs> oh well. Good, my tea's brown now and not white. That was so fucking weird. I don't know why. Like, I didn't even, like, I didn't even, you know, do anything weird when I made the tea. It just fucking, all of a sudden, there was no fucking things in it. Oh, God, what a boring, what a boring waste of time. Stupid, shitty dice game. I always put milk in it, but, oh, my fucking God. Um, you know, maybe I should have made it a 3D, but, ah, oh, what's the point, man? God, I hate Blood Bowl. You can just fuck off, can't you? Wish. <laughs> like, why even play it, honestly? It's so shit. It's just genuinely so shit. Like, what kind of game do you lose in a minute and then have to spend another fucking 59 playing it for? <sighs> it's, it's fucking horrible. I might not even play Blood Bowl 3. Maybe I'll just let Mr. Yem and Dem get a refund and... Just don't play it. BM flicky at the same time. 
Wey. Two for one. <sighs> okay, it's over. Yeah. Um. Yes, faulty money is the only incentive. Money is the only incentive, but it's a paltry amount anyway, right? Like maybe the first month will actually be all right. But like it's a pathetic amount, you know. Not not to not to uh, sound ungrateful to all the lovely people who soap and donate and everything. But do you know what I mean? Like if you're just doing it for the money, it's a terrible thing to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if you like if you hate it and it's making you miserable, then you can just stack shells and make more money. <laughs> like <laughs> you you know like doing it for the money is not an incentive at all, really. Okay, well, that was a bit lucky. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. For... Thanks, Nolly, massive raid. Um, unfortunately, you've missed the game of Blood Bowl. It's already over. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, it was, the, you know, the couple of turns or whatever were really exciting. Really super exciting couple of turns. Um, I made a slight mistake. And then Nick rolled all of the dice. But, I mean, I can't play worse than Nolly, that's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's anybody out there who hasn't seen Nolly play, if you want, if you want <laughs> terrible opinions on voting and uh, <laughs> terrible Blood Bowl play, <laughs> That's the place to watch it. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Tom! <laughs> Stop being shit! Uh, yep. That's true. So, um. Do I just go forward here? Might as well. There's a crocs go, isn't it? <laughs> Glorious. A shout out. Did it did you do that faulty? Well done. I've got no idea how to do that. There you go. <laughs> I I couldn't watch it. It was that bad. It was that bad I couldn't watch. You know, which is uh You know, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you're terrible, Nolly, but you know, some people are just so bad that I can't watch them play Blood Bowl. And today you were one of those people. So, you know. Um, you can wear that as a badge of honour if you want. But uh, I listened. I listened and, and read chat. But the Blood Bowl was, uh, you know, horrendous. <laughs> Just absolutely horrendous. No, you didn't. No, exactly. Yeah, you couldn't expect your viewers to when you didn't bother. The Super Bowl was an admin win. Hello, five here. Yeah, it was amazing. 
it was amazing. It was a really good game, and then the the refs were just like, "Oh no, here you, you can just win," <laughs> which was a pretty terrible way to win. Don't sugarcoat it. I never sugarcoat anything. Yeah, that is a weakness of mine. To be fair, lots of people like things being sugarcoated, don't they? No, I never bother. Oh my god, just dice. Comedy mega. I mean, <laughs> he, gave, he gave him a tug. <laughs> but, you know, if you, if, you, if you paid for somebody to give you a tug, you'd be disappointed if that was the amount of touching you got. <laughs> You can be angry when when there's like holding on every single player, right? And it, it never gets called. Like that's why people get angry about these kinds of calls because there is literally holding on every single player. You like barely touched them. That was the thing. You barely touched them. Right. Let's try and roll a power. No, of course not. No, of course not. <sighs> Boring waste of time. Oh my god, imagine rolling a power. I'm gonna put it here actually. I'm gonna hit him now. <laughs> Fuck off. <sighs> Absolute comedy mega. <laughs> Indeed, no, yeah. It matters opponent as well, right? You know, if if you particularly a dwarf opponent, if if uh, if they had had like any idea, <laughs> any idea about blood bowl basics, <laughs> it would have helped. <laughs> It would have helped them. And obviously, Nick is rather good at the Blood Bowls. So it is what it is. They weren't even from Florida. No, right? How can Gator Penetrator not be from <laughs> Florida? What the fuck?
<laughs> Gator Penetrator. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, isn't it? That Jimmy Fantastic's a chocolate bar. <sighs> I think the best play is just to dodge uphill and then keep dodging. Because if I hit him, he sidesteps there and. It's harder. I guess he's free. What can he do? Not a lot. Click skin, click end zone, lovely. Is this a dicey? Like it, what? <laughs> I just knew the worst thing was I knew I was like, oh, I can't blitz him because the sidestep. Like I literally thought I can't blitz him because the sidestep, and then I thought, well, if I hit him from the diagonal, it's fine. And I just don't know why I thought that was fine. God, what an idiot! What an idiot! I could have just like caged one square back. Would have been totally fine. That's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible play. Now he's going to do the fill in. Oh, what a clever cunt. I should have known it's good, ain't he? And he was clever enough to do that. Most people aren't, right? So. It's easy to dismiss it because people are bad. Thanks, mad skills. Yeah. The game isn't still on. Faulty, it's over. I've lost. I've literally lost. I lost in the first. I lost in the first. You know, thirty seconds or whatever. Exciting, isn't it?
<laughs> the fuck the one turn looks stupid, yeah. He might have fucked it up. Like, it was a hard one turn. Even, even for a good player, it's still a hard one turn, that. So it was, it was smart to even think of, uh, of doing it. Okay, that's good, isn't it? That protects <laughs> my two best players and this guy a bit. Is OT yeah, faulty. So there is a chance that um, it's 2-2. Two, two. Got the got the nat well not natty, got the one turner. But he's got loads of sidesteps. I mean it's it's pretty much over. It is pretty much over for it. It's pretty much over. Yeah. On a scale of one to over, this is all. It's not worth benching the, the one turn up just because it's got four sidesteps, so there's no way I'm getting the pushes anymore. I could do cups or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm pausing anyway. I'll unpause. <laughs> this is a minute pause, because I'm letting the thing go down for a minute. This is a minute. I didn't ask for a pause when I went and made a cup of tea. I missed. I missed half of my turn. All of his turn. Didn't care. Got to. You know. You got to do what you got to do, haven't you? It's not scummy at all, faulty you idiot. It's literally. It's literally nothing, is it? But he's had his he's had his minute though. Just quietly. He's had his fucking minute. We're turning into fucking rebel territory now. He's had his fucking minute. What is this shit? Carry on! <laughs> What does the big giant nerd say? <laughs> don't mention, don't mention Rebel, sorry. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on! Ugh. 
Oh wow, half Thor Beyonce's coming out of retirement. Sick. End what? the fucking turn, man! What? <laughs> okay, I end the pause. <laughs> Why is he coming out of retirement? It's made a nine minute video to say he's coming out of retirement. I can't play it on stream. I'm not at this. <laughs> I don't know, Nolly. There is obviously you versus PC. I haven't done that one yet, and then there's two games that haven't that aren't haven't been played yet. So I don't know. Maybe it's like with just having this one game. Maybe he's do your game versus PC afterwards, and then do the last two together. Because like obviously this is just going to be one game, isn't it? So yeah, do this game and that cast, and then do the last two casts together. Yep. Did, did I've been glorious, I've stayed right on top of the casts. I've been pretty fantastic, to be honest. <laughs> yes. Is he gonna daka, daka, daka? <laughs> Very good friend. Who's coming out of retirement? Uh, Half Thor Beyonce. I said it. Well, I always say that's fair, David. That's fair. The mountain from Game of Thrones, the former world's strongest man and holder of the deadlift world record. He gave up strongman to earn more in one idiotic exhibition fight versus Eddie Hall than he would have earned in, his, in an entire career in strongman. So, and obviously healthier as well, right? Like boxing is way healthier than strongman. But it's like kind of idiotic to come out of retirement. Like it's much better being a retired strongman than an actual strongman. Like being a strongman is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible decision to be a strongman. For like your health and everything. Good. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. Um, yeah, but I mean, playing Blood Bowl is nowhere near as bad as, like, fucking yourself up doing strong. Gotta let him blitz skinks, haven't I? Well, I could have gone wider, I guess. Yeah, I've, I've, I haven't gone. I haven't done this correctly, have I? Ah, never mind. I should have. I should have gone a two gap. Oh well. Never mind. You can't really go through this crocs anyway. 
I was literally fucked up there. Yeah, it's not it's not healthy for anyone to like weigh four hundred and fifty pounds or whatever, is it? Do you know what I mean? Even if you are six foot nine. Like it's fucking it's absolutely like, you know, like the lifting weights that shouldn't be be able to be lifted by any human being, aren't they? You know, so like they're putting their body under like extreme stress when they're actually doing the training and then like they need so much mass. Like they've got to eat ridiculous amounts of stuff. Like it's just terrible. It's just actually terrible being uh, being a strong man. <laughs> they're like they're way beyond the limits of what a not what a human should be able to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all of I mean, even without that, right? Even without that, which uh, which obviously they're all they're all on <laughs> extreme amounts of gear. But um. Maybe we go here, and then he's there. He's got a, otherwise he's got a three there to hit him and then everyone's throwing a two. This is shit because he was always getting bits, but at least, at least he's not getting straight through the line now without moving that skin cut there. Maybe I should have tucked him in a bit so he wouldn't sideline him. Oh, fuck off. I should have tucked him in, so... If he'd been back here, does he still get blitzed? Maybe not. Yeah, I really wanted the Crocs not boneheaded, because if I didn't have the Crocs boneheaded, then that tackler isn't there and he's in behind here instead. And also, I mispositioned him, otherwise he would have been behind. So. Again, minor mistakes, getting absolutely fucked. Standard, isn't it? Which, to be fair, I guess is credit to Nick, because, like, a shitter wouldn't have punished me for them. Like that, uh Like that. Guy uh, with the dwarves that was playing Nolan. I really want to double GFI so I can 3D this guy, but I guess I, I guess I've just got a 2D. I feel like it's all over. Uh, not necessarily all over, is it? 
That's pretty much all over. So I just fucking roll the dice, see what happens. But the thing is, it doesn't help him that much anyway. You could have just made us only given him a tiny bit. It was worth trying to high roll because I'm that far behind. I'm pretty sure. Nah, probably because I could have just done it better, right? I could have just done it better. I could have. Uh I could have not let him blitz the tackler still. I could have just moved a skink over there. I could have even, like, you know, slightly modified the shape, the whole shape, so that he couldn't really blitz that guy. I should have just put some thought into it. But I didn't. Yeah, funnily enough, Dr. Feels bad, yeah. Danix up hills better than my 2Ds, fantastic. Absolutely standard game of Woodrow. Nothing could be more standard, in fact, could it? And if I haven't had that, it just adds a 1 in 9, right? It still goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he still gets there, almost certainly. Yeah. So it didn't really matter. It was worth trying to roll up out, pretty sure. If he doesn't tag him, I can just power him and then straight through. Question is, do I even try and hit the ball? Because it's going to take two, one in nines, and I mean, probably. It's terrible, though. There we go. 
go. <sighs> now, I, I think I'm not going to play. I think I might just get him and Demi's money back and not even stream Blood Bowl 3. It actively makes him miserable. Being this miserable wouldn't be worth getting getting a lot of money. <laughs> Never mind less than stacking shells. Oh, I mean, once, once I stack shells, I'm not loaded. But you know, I didn't think what's the best way, what's the best way to earn money streaming Blood Bowl. You know, nobody's that stupid sh on Earth, surely. Maybe some revelers. Maybe some of the Blood Bowl 3 Discord players, but... Oh, Canada. He's <laughs> gonna foul with a card. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I do do that, faulty. But only because it's healthy. Only because it's healthy, man. I don't want to eat shit. Oh my god, have you had fucking subways? Oh, bleh. They're the fucking worst. Like, just shit like that. Oh my god. It's horrific. Like, it's just an example, but like, everything's that bad. Like, it's not just Subway, it's everything. All, all like, fast food is absolutely fucking horrendous. And I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just not gonna fucking eat it. And then, so then your option is, you know, what, what else can you do? Well, then you've got to bring your own, haven't you? You've got to bring your pack lunch. You just have to. No, I don't want a fucking kebab, thanks, Foley. It's very kind of you, but um, I'd rather not. <laughs> Jim Nunch. <laughs> Coffee overlooking Manhattan, yeah. <gasps> yeah, faulty. Man, what a weird. It was really fucking, it was weird, like, I can still see it. It was like, it was a very memorable dream. I can still see the amazing, the amazing room we were in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get pressure on next turn. Please.
a rom-com in a Blood Bowl convention organised by Rick. That's pretty amazing for me. God, I hate Blood Bowl. Really don't know what to think. I might just give it up. Cause there's no there's no fucking uh Cabal Vision, is there in Blood Bowl three? Oh fuck. I'm not gonna run bad foul there, I just made a mistake. Alright, Brock is here being now. Is it a double foul? No. Yeah, Nick did forget a player on the in the ducker, yeah. Not that it mattered. I made one square position mistake on the ducker and it cost me. I got just Put that guy in. I'd already moved the next guy. If the if that skin could be one forward, I could have put behind the tackler, or I could have I could have maybe uh, put the saurus there and like two skins there, but like lack it and left hand side. Yeah. That's pretty fucked. How many side steppers does he have? Still got three, I still got four. Oh, that wasn't even a side stepper, that was Fallon. Fuck me, I was thinking I was Fallon a side stepper. Still got loads of players. Skinks do I have? Two to fill gaps and one to get... No, three to fill gaps and one to get the ball. Two dodges for him. Two dodges for him. One dodge for him. He comes in for the blitz. Ah. So the skink comes in for the blitz. No, that doesn't work. Fuck. <laughs> so that means he has to be here. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Fuck. Am I better off just blitzing this guy? No, I don't need to.
I'll block him and try and power him. And if I power him, then it's easy. If I power him, then we blitz here. And it's easy. <laughs> it doesn't matter about this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, so what's this? Two dodges there, and then hit him. And that puts him into there. And then one goes. Right. So I hit him and he goes there. I've still got this one to fill. It's tricky, but then he can't do that. Yeah, no, it's alright. I think this is okay. No, I might have to do a Saurus dodge. He's going to be there, and then there's one, two, three to fill, which is one, two, three. So he's got to come back after he's done it, or he's going to dodge. Oh, I didn't follow. I've got to follow as well. Oh, right. Okay. So he's got to dodge. Yeah, he's got to dodge. He shouldn't have been on him. Oh, well, there you go. So I messed up. But you know, if I hadn't used the reroll on the dodge, that, that dodge shouldn't have been made, right? So there you go. So, a couple of mistakes banged on. Absolutely standard. Three mistakes? So there was the there was the caging too close, which was like terrible. Like that was genuinely terrible. That was really that was a really, really, really bad mistake. As much as Nick got really lucky afterwards, that was a really bad mistake. And then there was one square difference on the DACA, which was actually pretty bad as well. Um, and then like... Hello. Um, hello. Hello. Well played, Well, I don't... I disagree. I mean, well, maybe it was well played. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 
I, I, I mean, no, you know, uh, I don't think anyone's going to be able to say everyone played a perfect game at all points. But, you know, but it's a, it was good fun. <laughs> it was all right. Well I, played, um, Nick. Congratulations. I, I fucked up that sidestep at the end. I shouldn't have sidestepped. To fill a square around you. The yes, push. Yeah. Mm. I realized that afterwards. I'm like, oh, I'll put my guard next to the ball. That <laughs> might stop his skink getting two dice. And I'm like, wait, Jim has 50 million fucking guard. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I just filled a square. But, you know, I, so yeah, so I, what did I do? I, I did. I did. I caged too close. Do you know what's weird? You know, on the first turn, I literally thought. Mm. Oh, well, I, I don't want to go here because then if I hit him, you'll sidestep. But if I hit diagonally, you won't be able to get into contact. And then obviously you could. And then I hit it and I was like, well, how did that happen? <laughs> like, I just literally, <laughs> I just bamboozled myself. Like, I just didn't, I just literally thought hitting from diagonal solved it. Otherwise, I would have just caged one square backwards, right? So, like, that yeah, was just, yeah, that yeah. was terrible. Like, that was absolutely terrible. And then... The deck, I, I moved, I moved the, the, like, one skink, one square. Oh, yeah, did you, was that a misclick that you moved the skink? I, it was just, it was just a not paying attention, I guess. And then I was oh, like, okay, shit, yeah, yeah. what can I do now? <laughs> so I got now, so then I had to try and jiggle the other players around. But, of course, that was pretty unlucky because five times out of six, the crocs wouldn't have gone stupid and then mm, wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, that the crocs had, stupiding. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered that I'd got that wrong. And then yeah. obviously got punished in the worst way possible by losing the tackler, and then the uphill on the crocs working. So you know, but but ultimately, if I move one square differently, then the DAC is a lot better defended. And then oh, there was that that guy not being on the LOS, wasn't there? Yeah, so we had to go I, I, well, you know, I, I did have a lot of things go my way. Yeah, like my offense, everything went right in my offense for me. Like I don't know uphill if I had any crocs. Yeah, uphill on the crocs. The I don't know if I failed any dodges that mattered. I don't think you failed anything, though. No. <laughs> no. You rolled all the dice. <laughs> I rolled all the dice. All the dice. Uh, and then I got that, you know, I hit the five as well. But you on, failed one in dodge in the entire match out of 39. Oh. So, yeah. And that <laughs> one dodge out of 39, I think that was like the, the skillless thrower in the backfield. <laughs> <laughs> when he was dodging away from like I saw us just to, like maybe he'll be relevant in three turns after everyone else had already broken away yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so no dodges failed apart from one that I maybe didn't even need to take <laughs> yeah yeah, that's pretty bad and there were some threes in there wasn't there there were some threes in there mm. yeah yeah no there were there was threes I and then of two. course the oh, no, the, the, the straight in there was the five mm. there was a, it was a three five as well wasn't it it was a three five yeah yeah, it was never going to fail. Like it was like the, the worst thing was like once I once I realised that I'd messed up and like you know the side the, the the from the hitting I knew you were going to go for it because like you had to right so like oh yeah I was like hmm I I, I I'm normally such a like a passive little bitch sometimes in bubble <laughs> but I'm like oh Jim's not going to give me something else like this again so I kind of had to. Yeah, that was the, that was the annoying thing. That I was like, it was it was the right thing to go for it, and it was just wrong for me to give you the chance. But I, I literally, I just yeah. literally just didn't understand. Like, I just you know it was a complete misplay because I just I just didn't think it was going to happen. Like, I thought it was safe if I hit diagonally. So if I if mm. I'd seen that, then I would have blitzed somebody else or or cage one square backwards. Like either of those options. Yeah, yeah, no, no, were totally sense. fine. So yeah. Yep, pretty pretty terrible on that. But of course, you still did roll all of the dice, the one deep now, and then the dodging and the pass. All the, oh, I'm looking at, oh, I'm just looking at the stream now. Look, look at all those big num, big percentage success. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but um, there you go. Make more mistakes, yeah. Yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it, Our oh, Yeah, it does seem that way. Because, like, I don't think I made any other mistakes. Like, I think those were the mistakes that I made in the end. Oh, really, yeah, it was the first turn cage and then that one turn in the... Yeah, the turn in the deck. Deck. Okay. I guess you could argue that I could have made some 3Ds, like, to try and pressure the stall because I wanted people around the ball anyway. But then there's obviously bigger payoff, right, if you just 2D in power. Like, I had tackle. And, like, I, I rolled six dice to try and... <laughs> you know, like, I re-rolled yeah, the first like, turn and then I didn't... creating didn't a bit of a... Scrum around the ball, and there's a chance that like your edge kink ends up with it at the end. It's like never going to be protected, but like it's on a it's on a dodge piece. I don't have any tackle. Mm -hmm. I might not get it back easily. You've got sidestep to make my recovery shit. Yeah. So like I think I I think 
I think I liked going for that sack there because of how well everything went. Yes. <laughs> before. Like, everything went... I was like, hmm... I was thinking, oh, gee, you know, where am I happy failing? You know, where's my failure state? I was thinking through, like, oh, I guess I'd rather fail here and be a bit potatoey, and then everything worked. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, I mean, you didn't really do anything wrong, did you? Yeah, apart from that side step, but, you know. That's nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think um, maybe there was something better I could have done to stop your skink on, the, you know, the touchdown that you did. Maybe. Like, could I have, yeah. could I have put, could I have put some... Gridded? Because I didn't have any lateral movement, did I? So there's maybe it's just some kind of just grid behind would have yeah. been better. But it, yeah, that's seen, that feels pretty shit against an edge force kink, doesn't it? You know? <laughs> like, yeah, I couldn't... I knew it as like, oh, I can't just leave a gap. Otherwise, it's a big chain of twos. Yeah. So if I put a line, then it's at least it's a three. Then maybe there was something. Yeah, the uphill. Like, I think you, I think it was right of me to just go straight for the uphill. Because if I like, try and punch anybody, then you can sidestep or whatever and completely block me off. Mm. So I agree. I think, I think that was your play. Yeah. Just if my if I had something better. Yeah, better. maybe it's hard to say, though, isn't it? Because like that was. Can you make something to make my play worse? Isn't it? Is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so so you need oh, to. Oh, sometimes it's so much easier solving a puzzle than like setting a puzzle. Uh, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. So so like it was obvious. Like the yeah. So the solution to your puzzle was obvious that it was an. It was very obvious. Yeah. Uh, yeah two. Yeah. So then, so then you've got to think: Can you make a puzzle? So, but you've got to solve it first to know that how hard you've got to set the other one, right? Because if you're exactly right, yeah, yeah. So and then there were like there was a few GFIs and dodges I had to throw to like even get to what I got to. So it's like, was it worth throwing more to get to something else if there was something else? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, m- m- maybe because like. I don't know, maybe not though, because there was an uphill and three GFIs. So even if, like you say, the, the dodges are automatic because there's dodge in there, which isn't true, but it's it's close isn't, yeah, to. It's not true, but like you know, if it if you're rolling five two bosses with an inbuilt reroll and your team reroll, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad. It's not I, too I, bad. Like it's it, making some threes in there's got to making like the uphill with no blocks got to be better than yeah any a bunch kind of, of grid you could make. Yeah, any kind of grid has got to be. It's got to be better than that, yeah. But could you have gridded behind as well? Like, you ha- I think you had to have the wall. You had to have, have a line wall. and then another line. I could have had two lines of three men's against the sideline, maybe. Well, I don't know about two But just, like, just a grid behind the line. Like, at least, at least the line. I think the line was 100% correct. I don't know if you could get okay. a second line behind. That would be really hard, because the second line would have to be further as oh, well. Oh, it had to be right? longer as well, because yeah. you go on the side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you could grid it because then the fact I'm gonna to have to make three naked twos anyway, and the uphill, mm. there's a good chance you yeah. fail on the uphill, and then there's then there's that's a, a good point. So then there's a, the more dodges you make, it is gonna be mm. more chance with all of the other rolls. But um, no, yeah. Anyway, congrats, Nick, and uh, good luck in the final Thank for you. Skuro. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes, <laughs> Skuro. You know, uh, I'm sure you want your fourth title. <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> Three five eight nine, baby. Three five eight nine. Three five eight nine. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll 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 leave you be. Um, thanks for the game. Yeah. Thank you very See much, you Nick. Again. See you. And uh, I will cover the uh, semi-final uh, and the final of the SFL and put them on the YouTube's. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.